Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatching t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever you go. Report number 60877, Class B. Submitted by witness on Thursday, August 23, 2018. Mother and daughter have a scary daytime encounter while hiking on North Twin Cone. Year, 2018. Season, summer. Month, August. Date, 23rd. State, Colorado. County, Park County. Location details, the road on the east side of Kenosha Pass Campground that takes you up to the Twin Cones. The rock throwing and tree knocking occurred off the road about 15 minutes from the top. It was at the campsite on the right side. Nearest town, Jefferson, Colorado. Nearest road, 285. Observed. Oh my God is all that we can say. It is Thursday, August 23, 2018, and we are just getting to our vehicle from a harrowing hike. We were hiking the road at Kenosha Pass on the east side that takes you to the Twin Cones above the tree line. We began our hike at noon and hiked up the road. We reached the Twin Cone Tree Line area at 3.30 p.m. It was a beautiful and uneventful hike until we were headed back down the road. My daughter had said she thought that she had heard a tree knock and I was being silly and took a rock and knocked on a large rock off of the road and then tossed the rock about five feet off of the road. Literally two minutes later we both heard multiple loud tree knocking and rocks were whizzing past our heads. The stench was unbearable like nothing I have ever smelled before. My 21 year old daughter began to scream and cry as we were under attack by someone or something. I was so startled that I just stood there frozen as this dark figure was staring back at me. I couldn't move. My daughter grabbed my arm and we took off. I had an air horn that I depressed three times as we were running away and that seemed to, de to deter the rock throwing. The rock throwing continued for five more minutes as we ran down the hill. We were almost to our vehicle, which was parked off the dirt road, when we heard a loud guttural whoop off the road and a bit, and we just kept running to the car, so very, very afraid. We made it back to our vehicle at 6.15 p.m. I will never return, and we are not okay with this. This needs to be investigated, please. Also notice the horrible stench that we smelled just before the rock-throwing attack. The only thing that seemed to end the rock throwing was that I had an air horn that I blew three times as we were trying to escape the attack. Other witnesses, myself and my 21 year old daughter, we were walking down the road. Other stories, no. Time and conditions, 4.45 p.m. Environment, heavily forested pine aspen trees. I spoke with both witnesses via phone and email immediately after the sighting report was submitted. Both witnesses seemed very credible and genuine and were able to describe the encounter in great detail. Both witnesses were clearly upset by the encounter and expressed their desire to never visit the location again. I visited the site of the encounter myself on the following Monday. The activity took place just below a tree line at approximately 11,000 feet of elevation. I did observe what appeared to be a partial footprint 
and discovered a possible hiding sleeping area as well, which had a very distinct odor. The odor was notable, but not as intense as described by the witnesses during their encounter. The mother provided slightly more detail with regards to her observation of the actual creature. She emphasized her strong feeling that the creature was hostile and that she felt it might charge at her and her daughter. The daughter purposely did not look at the creature due to the sheer terror she felt at the time. The mother felt that deploying the air horn gave them the opportunity to leave the scene without further, further interaction with the figure she observed. Since rocks were being thrown from another direction at the time of the sighting, it would seem clear that there were multiple creatures. The witnesses were clear that they were followed several miles down the mountain back to their car, and at that point they were further startled by a loud roar scream from the tree line. Although they felt that they were under attack, they were not hit by any rocks. We have received many reports of rock throwing, which is most likely an intimidation behavior where they wish for you to leave. If they wanted to hit their mark a human, they would be able to if that is what they were aiming for without much effort. <laughs>